एक्स्ट्रा टाइम How did you sleep, Meg? <laughs> I slept well last night. Uh, yeah, obviously it's a very exciting time for for everyone involved. It's it's been a long time coming, and uh, yeah, to know that game days tomorrow we, we're involved in the the biggest game of women's cricket there's been. Uh, yeah, everyone's just looking forward to the occasion. Just uh, in terms of the crowd, people are going to talk about '97 in that World Cup final in Kolkata. Uh, have you had communication with the players uh, in that final? Have you been speaking to them about playing those kind of uh, occasions? Because one of the few occasions where that many people are there for a World Cup final. Uh, not directly. I've spoken to Belinda Clark in the past uh, about it, and uh, you know, just that it's such a, a great occasion and, and something that you sort of look back on and, and feel really privileged to be a part of. So we've we've spoken as a group about about the crowd and really embracing that. It is going to be a different game. We haven't played in front of a crowd this big before, so that's fine. Uh, we just need to make sure that we deal with that as best we can and actually just enjoy it and, and smile about what we're experiencing and you know how lucky we are to be in the position that, that we are to play in this game. So uh, we're just looking forward to the chance to play. Um. Meg, uh, in terms of um, how the team was at the start of the tournament heading into this game, do you feel like it's it's almost a completely different team personnel-wise in terms of a couple of changes, but just the the mental toll and the you know tumultuous time you've had, it's it's almost is, is it a different mindset heading into this game than probably the start of the tournament, given what's taking place? No doubt we're in a, a different spot uh, now than we were heading into the first game. I think we're uh, very well prepared for what tomorrow will throw at us. Uh, it hasn't been an easy road to the final, but I wouldn't have had it any other way. Uh, we're sort of match and battle hardened, really. All our games, you know, the last four games have been cutthroat, uh, must win clashes, and they've all been close. So we've had to deal with that pressure and uh, need to sort of stand up when you're under the pump. And I've been extremely pr proud of how the group's handled that so far. And we've got one more of those games to go. It's, it's going to be a really tough, hard battle tomorrow against India, who are a great side. But I feel like we're as ready as we can be to, to take that on. Have you got stuck into a Lisa Healy that her hubby's coming home to see her? It's a pretty good occasion for it. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to see Mitch heading back and he's missing a, an international game of cricket, which um, might not happen too often. So it's great that you know he's here to support us and Anna Lisa and the men's team have been really supportive of our group for a long time and, and certainly over the last few weeks we've been getting a lot of messages from them. So it's, it's nice to have their support as well. You mentioned um, at the captain's media day, um, if you had to play one team in the final, you'd say India. Does that still hold true now, a few weeks later? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, and we saw in, in Sydney that they've got a really big fan base and, and they're, they're, their fans are really passionate about cricket. They love it. And, and the atmosphere in Sydney was amazing. And um, it's probably got nothing on what it's going to be, be tomorrow, which is, is really exciting. I, I hope there's a lot of Indian fans there. I hope there's a lot of Australian fans as well. But just to hopefully pack out the MCG is something that's really exciting. And uh, we, we can't wait to be out in the middle and um, be, be in the thick of the action. Uh, well, Meg, uh, when there is an India-Australia contest, we've always seen banter between the two teams and even the players subjected to sledges by the opposition fans. Are you prepared to be sledged by the Indian fans <laughs> tomorrow at MCG? Because uh, what we understand, there will be also a sea of blue. Yeah, I'm not sure what to expect from the Indian fans, but we know they're very passionate about cricket and they, they follow, follow their team very closely and uh, are very loud in their, their cheering and, and things like that. And I've got no doubt it's going to be a great atmosphere uh, created by both the Australian and Indian fans. I'm sure it will be all done in great spirit as well. And on the field, it's always a great contest. We've got a lot of respect for each other and uh, I've got no doubt that will that is what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, it's been a bit of a sorry. It's been a bit of a rough ride in some ways. The campaign there've been been um, been ups and downs. Is there maybe one thing you want to see from your team tomorrow that we haven't seen yet in this tournament? Oh, I don't think we need to change too much. To be honest, uh, we haven't played our best game of cricket yet, and that's still still out there somewhere. And, and hopefully, it, it happens tomorrow. Uh, I think we we've shown that we're able to to cope and be really calm under pressure and that's what's going to be needed tomorrow and often in in finals you don't need to go above and beyond what you've already presented it, it's actually just about producing that again and and making sure you're doing the basics really well so that's what we'll be focusing on uh, we'll, we'll be going out there trying to play our style of cricket but but just getting the basics done really well especially early in the game when there are a lot of nerves flying around that's going to be the most important thing I, I think the team that settles the quickest um, will, will give themselves you know a really good chance in this game 
Meg, just over here. Are you considering thinking about any changes to the team at all? Obviously, uh, India beat you in the first game. If I had to force, force, make, force to make changes, obviously, because the least got injured, are you thinking about doing anything differently to turn around what happened in the first game? Yeah, we're thinking about um, a few different options. Uh, we've got 14 players to to pick from, so uh, we haven't seen the wiki yet, so we'll have a look at that and see what that throws at us. Uh, but yeah, all options are sort of on the table at the moment, and uh, we will obviously have to play slightly differently to what we did against India. Um, we've got different personnel, but but also we need to play better than what we did. So uh, I'll be expecting that tomorrow. We've got some good plans in place, and uh, I think it's just about executing now. So uh, whatever team goes out there, I've got no doubt we'll do a good job. How many times have you watched that first game to sort of get an understanding of what you do need to do differently to beat them? Because there's a lot of talk around how big the occasion is, but you still have to play a game of cricket and, and, and win. That's right. Uh, you know, that's the most important thing is is what happens out in the middle. And uh, we've done our, our research on, on what happened in that last game. But the other thing to remember is we're playing on a completely different wicket here in Melbourne. So uh, some of those things we'll need to take into it, but we'll also need to adjust to what's happening and what's in front of us. So we'll be as prepared as we can be. And the other really important thing is adjusting to what's happening at the time and being able to play accordingly. So... Uh, yeah, we'll be ready and it's just about going out there and expressing ourselves and, and playing freely, but uh, just sort of understanding what the situation presents. Um, just on that, is there anything you'll specifically do at training today or in the nets to prepare for Poonam's really slow spin? We will be facing some slow spin today at training. Uh, and, and there are other spinners can change their pace as well. So it's not just Poonam we need to, to worry about. They've they've got some really good left armers, Guy Aquad, and, um, you know, that's really important as well. I think you can get caught up on one one player and focus too much on them and, and they've got a really strong lineup right through their right through their bowlers. So we'll be covering all bases, making sure that we're as ready as we can be. Um so yeah, you'll see us preparing for that today. Sorry, Mick, you've you've mentioned there uh, the flexibility in the lineup. You have been quite flexible in terms of matchups throughout the tournament. Your attack's been quite settled the last two games against a raft of right handers. You've obviously got two left handers in the Indian lineup and they face your spin very well. How much does that play on your mind heading into your planning tomorrow? Yeah, a, f a fair bit. Obviously, uh, Mandana's a, a world-class player. She's up the top there. So, um, Deep Dishama's played well against us as well. So we've we've planned for them. Uh, we we feel like our our bowling lineup can adjust to to those different things. And um, India play very differently to South Africa, to England, to to the other teams as well. So we need to make sure we're preparing for what we're coming up against. And, and we do know them very well. We've played so much cricket against them over the last few weeks that we, we understand what we're, what we're getting. It's just about making sure we're executing on the day. Is this the biggest game in your career, biggest moment? It would be, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah this, this build-up to, to the game has been you know, something I've never experienced before and uh, you know, I'm quite glad that the finals here to tomorrow and, and we can say that we're involved in it uh, but you, you know I always dreamed of being involved in this game uh, when when I saw that it was at the MCG and they hoped for a big crowd I just wanted to be involved and um, now we are and you know we're not we're not coming here to to just to put on a good show we're coming here to win and uh, that's the attitude we're going we're going in with uh, we've had you know we've had such a great tournament so far but uh, we've got one more big effort to go tomorrow and i um, looking forward to that chance. With all the things that have been thrown at you in the group stage and the semi, were there was there ever a moment you wondered whether you would be sat here today? Uh, I was a little bit nervous about it, that's for sure. There were certain times where, um, yeah, things weren't going as well as you'd you'd hoped. And I said this before, but heading into this tournament, the the way that I, I thought it would pan out, it hasn't happened in that way at all. But yeah, every time we've gone out there and played, we've been able to adjust. We've been able to overcome different different things and, and that has given me a lot of confidence and um, you know, we've been able to do that for a little while now but this tournament's been something different and, and to come through the way we have uh, has just filled us all with a lot of confidence that no matter what's thrown at us we can we can react and, and still get the job done and uh, yeah we understand that there's there's one more challenge to, to come tomorrow and it's going to be our toughest one so far so we're really bracing for that and, and looking forward to, to the chance to play against an excellent team. Uh, Megan, one of the top trending stories in India right now is, uh, uh, you know, sorry, uh, uh, yeah, Megan uh, saying that she hates 
playing against India after being <laughs> taken for 16 runs in the opening over of the tournament. Will you have a special session with her later today saying that, look, <laughs> you have to go out and still do the job? Uh, oh, Megan, she says a, a lot of things. Uh, and sometimes she's serious and sometimes she's not. I'm, I'm not sure what um, she was thinking in, <laughs> in that moment, but she's, she has been the number one T20 World Bowl for a long time uh, and she's up in the, the top few definitely. And um, yeah, she just got a, sort of a steely look in her eye and a very competitive person. So uh, I'm expecting a big performance from her tomorrow. And um, we're not in any way scared of what India present um, to us. We, we, we know they're an excellent team and they're, they're going to play well and we have to play our best game to beat them. But uh, we're looking forward to that challenge and uh, wouldn't surprise me if, if she bowls extremely well to Verma tomorrow as well. <laughs> I'd be too nervous to ask her for a selfie. I think, uh, oh, to have someone you know so big globally involved in this event is you know it's, is excellent and sort of just shows where it, where it is. Um, yeah, so hopefully we're the main show tomorrow, and Katie Perry is is there to sort of help us along. But uh, yeah, it's so great to have her here, and uh, looking forward to to filling the G tomorrow. Meg Ash Gardner hasn't had the the greatest tournament. Are you backing her to come out tomorrow and have a really good game? Yeah, looking forward to, to Ash playing well. Uh, I think she's you know she she's been you know hitting the ball well in outs and and at times in games, but just hasn't sort of produced I guess at, at different times. And that's the the nature of T Twenty cricket and the role that she plays as well. She's very explosive and takes the game on. So uh, we saw you know a couple of years ago in in a big game she was able to produce. So uh, you know I definitely not not worried about her at all. I think she can definitely play a role for us tomorrow uh, in the field and with the ball as well. She's a very versatile player. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.